While parts of the Gulf Coast fight off the spill's ripple effects, some areas still in cleanup mode. Plaquemines Parish President Billy Nungesser, as recent as Friday, reported oil. It still blows my mind that uh, they've got all these people out there on the payroll not finding any oil, but the local fishermen that they keep right. trying to downsize keep finding oil. The oil is in 10 feet, 12 feet into the grassland. and We don't know where we're going. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know where we're going to end up. What do we do in Plaquemines Parish? At Loyola University, a fisherman's forum where people heard first-hand accounts of how the oil spill has impacted fishing communities and still is today. This fisherman's wife talked about the people she knows who almost immediately faced foreclosures. That was months ago. Now here we are knocking on the six-month anniversary and this is still happening. I don't understand this. On top of the economic impacts, coastal residents fear that the health effects are uncertain. On June 16th, I walked out of my front door and hit the ground. The smell was so strong, I could not breathe. It literally took my breath away. I didn't think I would ever smell anything like that, ever. And we smell it every now and again. And it's because of those strong odors that Vicki Perrin says she began testing rainwater. Aluminum, magnesium, chloride, chromium, copper, nickel. These are things you shouldn't find in your rainwater. People here question whether the coast really is clear and want to send a strong message to those outside of coastal communities so that the aftermath of the oil disaster doesn't become an out-of-sight, out-of-mind situation. The nonprofit group Project Gulf Impact put on today's Fisherman's Forum at Loyola in Plaquemines Parish, the oil is impacting places like Bay Jimmy, Pass Shalon, and Southwest Pass, that is near the mouth of the river.